Have you ever felt like you're being ignored? Maybe you poured your heart out to someone only to receive silence in return. It can leave you feeling lost, confused, and even hurt. But what if there was a way to handle being ignored that didn't leave you feeling defeated? What if you could turn that situation into an opportunity for growth and inner peace? Imagine this. You're in a crowded room, eagerly sharing your ideas, but everyone seems to be looking the other way. It's as if you're invisible. How do you react? Do you feel anger rising within you? Or perhaps you start questioning your worth and value. Now picture this. Instead of letting those feelings consume you, you take a deep breath and remember the wisdom of the ages. You draw from the teachings of Buddhism, a philosophy rich in insights on human behavior and inner transformation. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we unravel life's challenges with ancient wisdom and modern understanding. If you find value in what we share, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, share this video with friends, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us reach our goal of 100 likes for this video. In this video series, we'll explore the art of dealing with being ignored through the lens of Buddhism. We'll discover how understanding ignorance can lead to greater compassion and inner peace. And we'll learn practical techniques to navigate such situations with grace and resilience. But first, let's set the stage. Ignorance isn't just about not knowing something. It's also about ignoring something or someone. When someone ignores us, it can trigger a range of emotions, from frustration to sadness. It's natural to crave attention and validation from others. But what if we shifted our perspective? Buddhism teaches us to look inward for validation and acceptance. Instead of seeking approval from external sources, we can cultivate self-worth from within. By understanding the nature of ignorance, we can free ourselves from the need for external validation and find peace in our own presence. So, if you've ever struggled with feeling ignored, this series is for you. Together, we'll explore how to transform moments of ignorance into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Are you ready to embark on this journey? Let's dive in and discover the power of inner peace amidst the chaos of being ignored. Lesson 1. Understanding Ignorance Ignorance is like wearing a blindfold in a dark room. You can't see where you're going, and you bump into things without understanding why. It's the same when someone ignores you. It feels like stumbling in the dark. But what if there's a way to turn on the light and see clearly? Imagine this. You send a message to a friend, pouring your heart out, but they don't respond. Your mind races with questions. Did I say something wrong? Are they mad at me? It's like standing in a fog of uncertainty. But here's the thing. Their silence might not be about you at all. Ignorance, in Buddhist teachings, isn't just about not knowing something. It's also about misunderstanding. When someone ignores you, they might be caught up in their own struggles, lost in their own fog. It's not that they don't care. It's that they can't see beyond their own blindfold. Think of it this way. Ignorance is like a cloud that blocks the sun. When someone ignores you, it's like they're trapped under that cloud, unable to feel the warmth of connection. But just because they can't see the sun doesn't mean it's not shining. Understanding ignorance isn't about making excuses for others' behavior. It's about finding compassion. Imagine if you could lift the fog for them, if you could help them see beyond their blindfold. That's the power of compassion. It's like a gentle breeze that disperses the clouds, revealing the sun. In Buddhism, ignorance is considered one of the root causes of suffering. When we're ignorant, we're trapped in a cycle of misunderstanding and conflict. But when we understand ignorance, we can break free from that cycle and find peace. So, the next time someone ignores you, remember this. It's not about you. It's about their own struggles. Instead of getting caught up in hurt feelings, try to see beyond their blindfold. Offer them compassion, like a guiding light in the darkness. And in doing so, 
you'll not only ease their suffering but also find freedom from your own. Lesson 2 The Buddhist Perspective Buddhism offers profound insights into the nature of human experience, including how to navigate moments of feeling ignored or overlooked. At its core, Buddhism teaches the importance of understanding suffering and the causes of suffering. One of the fundamental teachings is the concept of impermanence. Everything in life is constantly changing, including our interactions with others. In the context of being ignored, Buddhism invites us to recognize that this too shall pass and that our worth is not defined by external validation. Central to Buddhist teachings is the idea of interconnectedness, that all beings are connected in a vast web of existence. When someone ignores us, it's a reminder that their actions are often influenced by their own perceptions, emotions, and circumstances. Instead of taking it personally, Buddhism encourages us to cultivate empathy and understanding towards others. In Buddhism, there's a focus on the importance of mindfulness, being fully present in each moment without judgment. When we feel ignored, mindfulness can help us observe our thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them. It allows us to respond to the situation with clarity and compassion rather than reacting impulsively. Another key concept in Buddhism is the practice of loving-kindness or metta. This involves extending love, kindness, and goodwill not only to others but also to ourselves. When we feel ignored, it's an opportunity to practice self-compassion and remind ourselves that we are worthy of love and respect. Furthermore, Buddhism teaches the value of letting go of attachment to outcomes, expectations, and even to our sense of self-importance. When we let go of the need for validation from others, we free ourselves from the suffering that comes from craving recognition. In Buddhism, there's also an emphasis on the importance of forgiveness. Holding on to resentment or anger towards someone who ignores us only causes us further distress. By practicing forgiveness, we release ourselves from the burden of negative emotions and open the door to healing and reconciliation. Additionally, Buddhism encourages us to cultivate gratitude for the blessings in our lives, even in the face of challenges like being ignored. By focusing on what we're grateful for, we shift our perspective from lack to abundance, fostering a sense of contentment and inner peace. Moreover, Buddhism teaches the principle of karma, the belief that our actions have consequences, both in this life and beyond. When we respond to being ignored with kindness and understanding, we create positive karma that benefits ourselves and others in the long run. Buddhism also emphasizes the importance of seeking refuge in the Three Jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, his teachings, and the Sangha, the community of practitioners. When we feel ignored, turning to these sources of wisdom and support can provide solace and guidance on our spiritual journey. Furthermore, Buddhism teaches the practice of equanimity, maintaining mental balance and emotional stability in the face of life's ups and downs. When we encounter situations like being ignored, equanimity allows us to remain steady and grounded, rather than being swept away by our reactions. In conclusion, Buddhism offers valuable insights and practices for dealing with moments of feeling ignored. By embracing concepts like impermanence, interconnectedness, mindfulness, loving-kindness, letting go, forgiveness, gratitude, karma, seeking refuge and equanimity, we can navigate these experiences with grace, resilience, and inner peace. Lesson 3 Embracing Compassion Compassion isn't just a word. It's a superpower we all possess. Imagine a world where everyone acted with kindness and empathy towards each other. That's the essence of compassion. It's about understanding and feeling the pain of others as if it were our own. When someone ignores us, it's easy to react with frustration or anger. But what if we responded with compassion instead? Compassion allows us to see beyond our hurt feelings and understand that the other person may be struggling too. 
It's like offering them a warm hug instead of building a wall of resentment. In Buddhism, compassion is central to the teachings. The Buddha himself emphasized the importance of compassion towards all beings, regardless of their actions. It's about recognizing the interconnectedness of all life and acting with kindness towards everyone we encounter. Embracing compassion doesn't mean we have to ignore our own feelings. It's about finding a balance between caring for others and caring for ourselves. When we respond with compassion, we create a ripple effect of positivity that can transform our relationships and the world around us. Practicing compassion begins with cultivating empathy. It's about putting ourselves in the other person's shoes and seeing the world through their eyes. This shift in perspective allows us to respond with understanding and kindness, even in challenging situations. Compassion also involves forgiveness. Holding on to grudges only perpetuates suffering, both for ourselves and others. By letting go of resentment and offering forgiveness, we free ourselves from the burden of negative emotions and open the door to healing and reconciliation. But compassion isn't just a one-time act. It's a lifelong journey. It requires practice and patience. We can start by small acts of kindness, like offering a smile to a stranger or listening attentively to a friend in need. These simple gestures can have a profound impact on both the giver and the receiver. Moreover, self-compassion is equally important. We often criticize ourselves harshly, especially when we feel rejected or ignored. But treating ourselves with kindness and understanding is essential for our well-being. It's about being gentle with ourselves, especially in times of difficulty. In essence, compassion is the antidote to ignorance and conflict. It fosters understanding, empathy, and connection, bridging the gap between us and others. By embracing compassion in our lives, we not only transform ourselves, but also contribute to creating a more compassionate world for all beings. Lesson four, practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness is like a superpower, a way to be fully present in each moment. Imagine being able to tune into your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings with clarity and without judgment. That's what mindfulness offers. It's not about emptying your mind or stopping thoughts altogether. Instead, it's about observing them without getting tangled up in them. Picture yourself as a calm observer, watching the clouds pass by in the vast sky of your mind. Think about a time when you were so caught up in worry or anger that you didn't even notice the beauty around you. Mindfulness helps break that cycle. It's about pausing, taking a deep breath, and coming back to the present moment. You can start by simply focusing on your breath. Feel the air entering your nostrils, filling your lungs, and then gently leaving your body. Notice how your chest rises and falls with each breath. This simple act of paying attention to your breath can anchor you in the here and now. Another way to practice mindfulness is through body scans. Close your eyes and bring your awareness to each part of your body starting from your toes and working your way up to the crown of your head. Notice any sensations without trying to change them. Maybe you feel tension in your shoulders or warmth in your belly. Whatever you experience, just acknowledge it with curiosity and kindness. Mindfulness isn't just about being present in pleasant moments. It's also about facing challenges with grace. When you encounter difficult emotions or situations, Instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to pause and observe what's happening inside you. Maybe you notice a tightness in your chest or a knot in your stomach. Instead of pushing these feelings away or getting swept up in them, practice being with them. This doesn't mean you have to like or agree with them. It simply means acknowledging their presence without judgment. One of the beautiful things about mindfulness is its versatility. You can practice it anywhere, anytime. Whether you're washing dishes, walking in nature, or sitting in traffic, you can bring mindfulness to the moment. It's about fully engaging with whatever you're doing, no matter how mundane or routine it may seem. By bringing your full attention to the present moment, 
you can find joy and peace in even the simplest of activities. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in a whirlwind of distractions. But mindfulness offers an antidote to this constant busyness. It invites us to slow down and savor each moment as it comes. Instead of rushing from one task to the next, take a moment to pause and breathe. Notice the sensations in your body, the sounds around you, and the thoughts passing through your mind. This simple act of pausing can bring a sense of calm and clarity to your day. Mindfulness isn't about achieving some state of perfection. It's about being human. We all have moments of distraction, impatience, and restlessness. But through mindfulness, we can learn to navigate these challenges with greater ease and resilience. It's a lifelong journey of self-discovery and self-compassion. So, be patient with yourself as you cultivate this practice. Remember, every moment is an opportunity to start anew. As you integrate mindfulness into your life, you may notice subtle shifts taking place. You might find yourself reacting less impulsively and responding more skillfully to life's ups and downs. You may discover a greater sense of peace and contentment, even amidst the chaos. And you might develop a deeper connection with yourself and others. These are just a few of the many gifts that mindfulness has to offer. So why not give it a try? Start with just a few minutes each day and gradually increase as you feel comfortable. There's no right or wrong way to practice mindfulness. The important thing is to find what works for you, whether it's through formal meditation, mindful movement, or everyday activities. Find ways to bring mindfulness into your life. Before long, you may find that it becomes as natural as breathing. Lesson 5. Cultivating Equanimity Equanimity might sound like a big word, but it's really just about keeping your cool, no matter what life throws your way. Imagine being in the middle of a storm but feeling as steady as a mountain. That's what equanimity is all about. When someone ignores you, it can feel like a punch in the gut. But instead of getting swept away by those feelings, you can learn to stay calm and steady. It's like being the captain of your own ship, navigating through rough waters with grace and resilience. In Buddhism, equanimity is seen as a superpower. It's the ability to stay balanced and centered, even in the face of challenging situations. Think of it as your secret weapon against the ups and downs of life. One way to cultivate equanimity is through meditation. By sitting quietly and observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment, you can train your mind to stay steady, no matter what's happening around you. It's like building a fortress of calmness within yourself. But equanimity isn't just about sitting still and meditating. It's also about how you respond to the world around you. Instead of reacting impulsively to every little thing, you can learn to respond with wisdom and compassion. Imagine someone cutting in front of you in line. Instead of getting angry or upset, you can choose to let it go and move on with your day. It's like water off a duck's back. Nothing can ruffle your feathers. Cultivating equanimity takes practice, but the rewards are well worth it. Not only will you feel more peaceful and centered, but you'll also be better equipped to handle whatever life throws your way. It's like having an inner anchor that keeps you grounded, no matter how stormy the seas. So the next time someone ignores you, instead of letting it ruin your day, try cultivating equanimity instead. Take a deep breath, remind yourself that it's not personal, and let it go. You'll be amazed at how much lighter you feel when you don't let other people's actions affect you. Equanimity isn't about being indifferent or apathetic. It's about finding balance and peace in every moment, no matter what's happening around you. It's like finding the calm in the middle of the storm, and it's a skill that anyone can learn with time and practice. In the end, cultivating equanimity is all about finding freedom, freedom from the ups and downs of life, freedom from the need for external validation, and freedom to simply be yourself no matter what. So why not give it a try? Your inner peace will thank you for it. Remember, the power to cultivate equanimity lies within you.
By practicing mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom, you can learn to stay steady and centered, no matter what challenges come your way. So embrace your inner superpower and let equanimity be your guide. Lesson 6. Letting go of expectations. Have you ever felt disappointed when someone didn't respond to your message or acknowledge your presence? It's natural to want acknowledgement, but sometimes people are preoccupied with their own thoughts or concerns. Instead of dwelling on why they ignored you, try something different. Let go of your expectations. Imagine a serene lake reflecting the clear blue sky. When a stone is thrown into the water, ripples form and disturb the surface. Similarly, when we cling to expectations, we create turbulence within ourselves. But just as the lake eventually calms, we too can find peace by releasing our expectations. Expectations often stem from our desire for control. We want things to go a certain way, but life doesn't always adhere to our plans. Buddhism teaches us to embrace uncertainty and flow with the ever-changing currents of life. By relinquishing our need for control, we open ourselves to greater flexibility and resilience. Letting go of expectations doesn't mean lowering our standards or settling for less. Rather, it's about releasing attachment to specific outcomes and embracing whatever unfolds. When we loosen our grip on how things should be, we free ourselves from unnecessary stress and disappointment. Consider a flower blooming in the wilderness. It doesn't fret about who will admire its beauty or whether it receives attention. It simply blossoms, radiating its essence for all to see. Similarly, when we release expectations, we allow ourselves to bloom authentically without the burden of seeking validation from others. Moreover, holding on to expectations can strain relationships. When we expect others to fulfill our needs or behave a certain way, we inadvertently place pressure on them. This can lead to resentment and misunderstandings. By releasing expectations, we foster healthier connections based on acceptance and understanding. Letting go of expectations requires practice and patience. Start by acknowledging when you feel disappointed or frustrated by unmet expectations. Instead of dwelling on these feelings, gently remind yourself to let go and accept the present moment as it is. Focus on appreciating the small joys and blessings in your life, rather than fixating on what's lacking. Cultivate gratitude for the simple pleasures, such as a warm cup of tea or a heartfelt conversation with a friend. When we shift our perspective from scarcity to abundance, we cultivate a sense of contentment that transcends external circumstances. In conclusion, letting go of expectations is a liberating practice that allows us to embrace life with greater ease and joy. By releasing our attachment to specific outcomes, we open ourselves to the beauty of uncertainty and the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. So, the next time someone ignores you, remember to breathe, let go, and trust in the unfolding journey of life. Lesson 7. Redirecting Your Energy Do you find yourself consumed by thoughts of why someone is ignoring you? It's natural to feel hurt or frustrated, but dwelling on it only amplifies those negative feelings. Instead of letting your mind spiral, consider redirecting your energy. Think of it as a mental reset button. Imagine you're holding a remote control and the channel playing in your mind is filled with thoughts of being ignored. Now press pause. Take a deep breath and shift your focus away from the situation. This simple act of redirection can help break the cycle of rumination. Rather than fixating on the person who's ignoring you, shift your attention inward. Explore activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Whether it's spending time in nature, pursuing a hobby, or connecting with loved ones, immerse yourself in positive experiences. Redirecting your energy doesn't mean suppressing your emotions. It's about acknowledging how you feel and choosing to respond in a constructive way. Allow yourself to feel the emotions, but don't let them control you. Instead, channel that energy into activities that uplift and empower you. 
consider practicing gratitude as a way to redirect your energy. Take a moment to reflect on the things you're thankful for in your life. Could be as simple as appreciating the beauty of nature or the support of friends and family. Shifting your focus to gratitude can cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment. Another powerful way to redirect your energy is through acts of kindness. Reach out to someone in need, lend a listening ear, or volunteer your time to a cause you care about. By focusing on others, you not only make a positive impact but also shift your perspective away from self-absorption. When you find yourself dwelling on being ignored, challenge those negative thoughts. Ask yourself if there's evidence to support them or if they're simply assumptions. Often, our minds create stories that aren't based on reality. By questioning these thoughts, you can gain clarity and perspective. Practice mindfulness as a tool for redirecting your energy. Pay attention to the present moment without judgment. Notice your thoughts and emotions as they arise, but let them pass without attaching to them. This mindful awareness can help you stay grounded and centered amidst challenging situations. Sometimes, the best way to redirect your energy is by taking a break. Step away from the situation that's causing you distress and engage in activities that promote relaxation and self-care. Whether it's meditation, exercise, or simply taking a walk, give yourself permission to recharge. Remember, you have the power to choose where you direct your energy. Instead of investing it in thoughts of being ignored, invest it in yourself and the things that bring you happiness and fulfillment. By making conscious choices, you can cultivate a more positive and resilient mindset. Lesson 8. Finding Inner Peace Have you ever felt like you're constantly chasing after something? Maybe it's approval from others, success, or just happiness. But no matter how much you chase, it always seems just out of reach. That's where finding inner peace comes in. Inner peace isn't about reaching some far-off destination or achieving some grand goal. It's about finding contentment and tranquility in the present moment. Right here, right now. Imagine a serene lake, its surface smooth as glass, reflecting the beauty of the world around it. That's what inner peace feels like, a calmness that runs deep within you, unaffected by the storms of life. But how do you find this inner peace amidst the chaos of everyday life? One way is through mindfulness. Mindfulness is simply the practice of being fully present and aware of your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings without judgment. It's about embracing each moment with openness and curiosity, rather than getting lost in worries about the past or anxieties about the future. Another way to cultivate inner peace is through gratitude. Take a moment to appreciate the simple joys in life, a warm cup of tea, a gentle breeze on your face, or the laughter of loved ones. By shifting your focus to what you have rather than what you lack, you can cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment. Forgiveness is also key to finding inner peace. Holding on to grudges and resentments only weighs you down, draining your energy and clouding your mind. By letting go of past hurts and choosing to forgive, you free yourself from the burden of anger and resentment, allowing space for peace and healing to enter your heart. Remember, inner peace isn't about suppressing or denying your emotions. It's about acknowledging them, embracing them, and then letting them go. Just like clouds passing through the sky, emotions come and go, but your inner peace remains steady and unshakable. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to get caught up in the endless cycle of busyness and stress. But amidst the chaos, it's essential to carve out moments of stillness and silence for yourself. Whether it's through meditation, yoga, or simply taking a walk in nature, find what brings you peace and make it a priority in your life. Finally, remember that inner peace is a journey, not a destination. It's something you cultivate and nurture every day through small, intentional actions. So be patient with yourself and trust that with time and practice, you can find the peace and tranquility you seek within yourself. Lesson 9. Nurturing Self-Worth 
Do you ever feel like you're not good enough? That nagging voice in your head telling you that you're not worthy of love or success. It's a common struggle that many of us face, but it doesn't have to define us. In fact, according to Buddhist teachings, our worth is inherent and unchanging. Think of a lotus flower emerging from muddy waters. Despite its surroundings, it blooms with grace and beauty. Similarly, our true nature is pure and untouched by external circumstances. We just need to remember that within ourselves lies the potential for greatness. One way to nurture self-worth is through self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend in need. Acknowledge your mistakes and imperfections without judgment, knowing that they are part of what makes you human. Another essential practice is gratitude. Take a moment each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for, big or small. Whether it's the warmth of the sun on your skin or the support of loved ones, cultivating gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. Moreover, set realistic expectations for yourself. It's okay to strive for improvement, but remember that perfection is an illusion. Embrace your uniqueness and celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Surround yourself with positivity. Spend time with people who uplift and inspire you. Distance yourself from those who bring you down or trigger feelings of inadequacy. Your environment plays a significant role in shaping your self-perception. Practice self-care regularly. Engage in activities that nourish your body, mind, and soul. Whether it's taking a walk in nature, indulging in a bubble bath, or meditating, prioritize your well-being. Furthermore, challenge negative self-talk. Whenever you catch yourself criticizing or doubting your abilities, counter it with affirmations of self-love and acceptance. Reprogram your mind to focus on your strengths and potential. Forgive yourself for past mistakes. Holding on to guilt or shame only weighs you down. Learn from your experiences and use them as stepping stones for growth and self-discovery. Moreover, cultivate resilience in the face of adversity. Life is full of ups and downs, but it's how you respond to challenges that defines you. Trust in your ability to overcome obstacles and emerge stronger than before. Surround yourself with supportive communities. Whether it's through friends, family, or like-minded individuals, having a support system can provide encouragement and validation. Remember, your worth is not determined by external validation. It comes from within, from embracing your true essence and recognizing your inherent value as a human being. So, the next time you doubt yourself, remember the lotus flower. Despite its murky beginnings, it rises above adversity, blossoming into something truly magnificent. You too have the power to nurture your self-worth and shine brightly in this world. Lesson 10. Embracing Impermanence Impermanence is a fundamental concept in Buddhism, and it's simpler than you might think. Think of impermanence like the changing seasons. Nothing stays the same forever. In life, everything is in a constant state of flux, from our emotions to the world around us. Understanding impermanence can bring a sense of freedom and acceptance to our lives. Imagine holding onto a bubble. It's beautiful but fleeting, just like life. When we grasp onto things too tightly, we suffer because we resist this natural flow. But when we embrace impermanence, we learn to let go and go with the flow. Impermanence teaches us to cherish each moment without clinging to it. It's like watching a sunset. You appreciate its beauty, knowing it will soon fade. This mindset helps us appreciate the present moment and all its wonders. We learn to let go of attachments and find peace in the midst of change. Impermanence reminds us to savor the good times and endure the tough ones. When we accept that everything is temporary, we become more resilient. We start to see life as a series of experiences each one teaching us valuable lessons. Just as the river flows, so does life, constantly moving and evolving. 
Embracing impermanence doesn't mean giving up, but rather surrendering to what is. It's about finding beauty in the ebb and flow of life's rhythms. We can find solace in knowing that no matter how challenging things may seem, they too shall pass. Impermanence invites us to live fully, love deeply, and let go gracefully. So, embrace impermanence as a gentle reminder to cherish the present moment and find joy in the journey. Conclusion When it all boils down, what matters most is how we respond to life's ups and downs. It's about finding our balance in the chaos. And that's where Buddhism shines. So, what's the takeaway? Well, it's about realizing that when someone ignores us, it's not about us. It's about them and their own journey. We can't control their actions, but we can control our reactions. Picture this. You're walking down a busy street, and someone bumps into you without so much as an apology. Your initial reaction might be anger or frustration. But here's the thing. Holding on to that negativity only hurts you in the end. Instead, try taking a deep breath and letting it go. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Remember, every moment is an opportunity to practice compassion and mindfulness. It's about being present, even when it's hard. And hey, nobody said it would be easy, but that's the beauty of it. Growth happens outside of our comfort zone. So, the next time someone ignores you, try this. Send them love and understanding. Maybe they're going through a rough patch, or maybe they're just having a bad day. Whatever the case, responding with kindness always wins. And hey, if all else fails, take a page from the Buddhist playbook and focus on impermanence. This too shall pass. Life is like a river, constantly flowing and changing. So why waste our energy on things we can't control? In the end, it's all about finding inner peace amidst the chaos. It's about realizing that happiness isn't found in external validation, but in the depths of our own hearts. So, let's take a deep dive into ourselves and discover the magic within. And hey, don't forget to give yourself some credit. You're doing the best you can, and that's all anyone can ask for. So. Be gentle with yourself and know that you are enough just as you are. In the grand scheme of things, a moment of ignorance is just a blip on the radar of life. So why let it consume us? Instead, let's rise above and embrace the beauty of our humanity. And as we close this chapter, remember this. You have the power to create your own reality. So why not make it a beautiful one? The world is waiting for your light to shine, so go ahead and let it glow. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. And remember, no matter what life throws your way, you've got this. Keep shining bright, and never forget the power of love and compassion. Until next time, stay mindful, stay compassionate, and always remember to spread a little kindness wherever you go.